I love this guy who's joining us on the show. He's back for his 13th season in the NFL. Didn't think he was going to play in the Baker's Dozen. Thought he was calling it a career after 12 years uh, with the Carolina Panthers, but he's back with the Jets. And, man, the Jets need him certainly at center just in time. Ryan Khalil here on the show. How you doing, brother? Fantastic, Rich. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, where did the whole uh, coming back to play football thing come from? I just love bagels and delis. <laughs> They just, I couldn't find a good one in Manhattan Beach. Yeah, I know. So. Yeah, it's, it's better in New York that way. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm-hmm. So it's really all about the bread is what you're saying, right? That's it. That, I mean, you've known me a long time. <laughs> you've known me a long time. No, I know. Uh, it's just it's tough to quit sometimes, man. It really is, isn't it? It is. It is. And it's, uh, listen, I, I mean, I'll be the first to tell you how lucky I've been to play as long as I have. And, and I've got to be on some incredible teams around some incredible players and coaches. Uh, I think for me, you know, the biggest thing was just coming off two tough injuries back to back. And I was coming up on my last year in Carolina and I thought, well, maybe that's, this is the, this is the sign. Maybe this is the writing on the wall. And uh, we'll we'll make this the last one, and and uh, we'll soak it all in. We'll we'll make sure that you know uh, we we really don't take anything for granted. And uh, the surprising thing that happened was is I felt great throughout the whole season, and I and I felt real healthy, and and I felt like my old self, and so I still kind of felt beholden to kind of call it a quits and sold the house and moved the family back to California, which was always the plan for us, and. Um, I just was having a hard time turning the page. And uh, so I started working out and training the only way I know how to, which is getting ready for football season. I thought maybe that would be therapeutic, and that just made it worse. Hmm. So anybody trying to turn the page, I recommend don't doing that. <laughs> just go ahead and do the Joe Thomas, Jordan Gross routine and just shrivel down as, as quickly as you can. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so, and then, so I just, I was feeling even better doing that and, uh, you know, running out on the strand, uh, shirt off, obviously, uh, which wasn't turning too many heads, but, uh, but, but yeah, so I called my agent, Tom Conan, and I just said, Hey, I said, you know, I don't, I don't quite think I'm done yet. So I said, I'm going to keep training and working out and. Um, I said, just kind of keep your ears open, and, and if, if something uh, exciting sort of pops up, if the, if the right opportunity pops up, uh, let's let's talk about it. And so I guess the plan for me was I was just going to kind of stay in shape, and then if, if nothing came up uh, and the season went by, then, then that would be sort of the final stamp on it. And uh, fortunately for me, uh, uh, I got a call saying, hey, uh, there's some interest uh, – in a center for New York, and uh, and we start talking about it. And then you know, obviously, uh, who you're snapping it to has something to do with 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 all the excitement. But I want to get to that in a second, Ryan Khalil, and just delve a little bit more because again, you're a guy with a great head on your shoulders, and you're a thinker, and you and you and you ruminate, and you you try and put your finger on things before you make a maneuver. What exactly about the game was tough to quit? Do you think? Um. I just think, you know, you, you know, you, you play a long time. Most of us have been playing since we were kids. I started when I was eight years old and you just have this structure and every year it's, it, you know, you're moving up to another level and um, you don't really think long term. I don't think, I mean, I just, I try at least for myself, I've tried to stay in the moment most of my career and, and uh, stay in the day and then stay in the week and then in the season um, and then you try to reboot and and reset, uh, re-energize during the off season to get ready for another one. Um, so you know, it just I think making it official, moving back to California, it just being so fine, you know, so definitive that that was it, that that was that was the end, was the first time I got to kind of be in a place where I got to reflect on that. And I think I just had these feelings of regret. Or I might have regret if I sort of didn't, if I didn't play all the way through whatever potentials, I, whatever potential I had left. You know, I just, it's such a small window. And once it's done, it's done forever. That door's shut. So I think something about that is just being as lucky as I am and knowing that, you know, it's not, it's still not going to be that much longer. If I, if I still have some left, 
having that regret of leaving some on the table, I just uh, uh, I just I had a hard time moving on from that. And then and then you know the things that everybody always talks about the locker room, um, you know Sundays. Not training camp, which I timed it up perfectly. You so did, didn't I think you? I got a couple of days of hey, training man, camp. You're, here. you're so. a savvy veteran, Ryan. You are. Let's <laughs> not forget, you are a savvy veteran at first and foremost. So, so I think most guys won't won't miss that. Um, uh, but but yeah. So I just think you know, for me, just knowing that that was gonna uh, that I wasn't gonna be able to do that ever again. I just um, I had a hard time moving on from all that stuff. Ryan Khalil, Jets center here on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay. And then it's USC puts the hands on the ball to start the play, and then USC touches the ball with Sam Darnold. Obviously, you saw what the kid did uh, here in Southern California collegiately since you pay attention to the program. Uh, now that you got a first a close-up uh, look over the last week, w- what about Sam Darnold leaps out at you, Ryan Khalil? Uh, I think just how much of a pro he is uh, just being in year two. Um, and you can tell this is a kid that uh, that cares and he understands how to study, what he, what he needs to study. Um, and then just ability-wise, I mean, he's just he's, – he, he has an incredible football awareness. Um, and so I think there's, there's a ton of exciting upside for him. Um, you know, hopefully I can come in and, and, and help take some of the stuff off his plate so he can continue to uh, advance uh, some of his other uh, sort of mental aspects and things that he, he has to focus on in the secondary and the passing game. Um, so uh, that's, that's, that's one of the many aspects about the kid that I really like, obviously as a football player, but, but even as a guy, he's, he's just an incredible pro. He's a good teammate. You can tell, uh, just being in year two, I mean, that's a tough thing to do to be in year two and to sort of command that kind of respect around the locker room. Just in the short time I've been here, you can tell how much the guys really respond to him. Um, and that's what you want in a quarterback. And Gase says he could throw the piss out of the ball, Ryan. <laughs> um, if anybody knows what's inside the ball, clearly you would know. Uh, and whether he can throw that out of it. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I, th- I think he can. I mean, obviously, like you said, I, I, I watched him uh, when he was in SC, when he was at SC and, and – uh, and uh, obviously, many people paid attention to him last year when he came in there, and and um, uh, he's uh, he's he's definitely a guy that people need to watch, and and uh, and I'll you know I'm excited for the opportunity to be able to help him any way I can. Yeah, and and just again, just to be clear, there is no piss in the ball, right, Ryan? Correct. When it comes down um, to it, I mean, you not, li- no. Not that know. I, I don't. Not that I recall. No. Okay. Well, no, I mean, Rich, you yeah. know, you haven't been away a long time, but I mean, yeah, yeah, just in sure. terms of in terms of re- returning to the game, there still is no piss in the ball, right? I, I there might be. I don't know. Okay. I, you know. Well, I just well, you wouldn't know because it's out of the ball, thanks to Sam Donald. So you wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, is is Gase the first head coach you've ever seen crack open a, a, a smelling salt <laughs> before the game like we saw last night, Ryan? Did you see that last night? Uh, did you see that? <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I did, Rich. I did. Uh, <laughs> Didn't want to answer for a second, Ryan. <laughs> See the first one? I think he's the first one I've seen. I don't know. Maybe the cameras caught it. Um, yeah, he. Uh, uh, no, not not the first time I've seen a oh. head coach with the with the smelling salts. No, oh. but first time uh, I've seen it go viral for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, the, yeah. Okay. Is it? Are you? Are you saying Rivera used to snap one of those open? Is that what you're saying? I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh! oh. Ryan Khalil, everybody. The cagey Ryan Khalil here on the Rich Eisen Show. So are you are you putting your film production career on hold? Are you still doing any stuff? Are we going to see more videos from you throughout the season? What? what tell me what to expect. Uh, well, that's – yeah, that's never on hold. The okay. grind never stops. You know that, Rich. <laughs> you know that. I do know that. Yep. Okay. All right. uh, I'm a multitasker. I can do multiple things. Well, didn't he used to? De- I can I, I can reach a shade and uh, and do some script coverage. Okay. 
Yeah, you, didn't, you you used to DM Brockman, right? You, uh, origami, did, right? Didn't you used to? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the paper plane origami DMs this year. Yeah, right. No, oh well, is that is it, well? The, I only did that because you you said we were paper tigers. Yeah, I so know. With oh. every win, I was sending you yeah. that. You started that, not me. I well, I mean, you you up, took I it to the next level. Go, you know what? I wonder if I should send him a paper tiger <laughs> yes. origami. We're saying, we're yeah. Good. Yeah. Boy, I crack LA. Broadcasting Center staff is showing you that the paper uh, bangle that you yeah. you DM'd after the Panthers took care of the Bengals <laughs> on Thanksgiving. It was a turkey one That's year, right. I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I, I have plenty of time to take shots at the Jets. So, are, no, I'm sure. No, you got sure. you got a Patriot fan across the way. So, did you settle in Jersey, or, or is that where you're going? You're going to be out there or are you going to New York? Where are you, where are you going, Ron? Did you figure no, that out? No, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm too old to go live in New York, Rich. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be right here, right outside the facility. Okay. Within walking distance. Okay. You're just a pro. You're just going to win some football games. And Le'Veon Bell, that must be a pleasure too, right? Yeah. Right I, behind you. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, uh, he's a, he's a funny character, man. I got to, I've got to hang out with him, uh, last couple of days and, uh, I, I can tell he's itching to, He's itching to get going. Okay. Maybe, you know, he's got a, uh, a rap uh, career going. Maybe you should make the music videos for him. Well, I actually asked, uh, uh, and he'll, he'll confirm this, I asked him yesterday if he'd put me on a track. Okay. And, and he, uh, well, he was a little hesitant. He doesn't know me like, like you know me, Rich. So you might need to put in a word for me. Uh, or maybe I got to send him in a mixtape or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, uh, Ryan, you know, Le'Veon uh, isn't just doing this as a hobby. I mean, he's the, you need to prove yourself, I guess, to him. If I do know that you would crush it, given the opportunity, um, I don't understand, quite honestly, Ryan. You know, I'll vouch. I'll vouch. By the way, you'd be the first person I ever vouched for rapping. That's for sure. Is that right? Yeah, I don't know if I'm the guy, but I, I do have an in with Lev. I'll do it for you, Ryan. You All right, that. I appreciate it. I always got you. I back. appreciate it. Hey, uh, congrats on on following your gut, man, and getting a hell of a spot too. I mean, this is a great opportunity. This is terrific. I'm thrilled for you, brother. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, a lot of people around here very excited about me coming here. A little too excited. So I'm trying to walk around, tamper the expectations just a little bit. <laughs> You know, I got to give myself a little room for error here. Right. Rich, you know. Yeah. No, I got you. But enjoy the snaps that you get uh, when you you're gonna. How many you're gonna get in preseason? Do you think? Uh, I can't tell you that. Coach said I can't. I can't talk about. Okay. That. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Rich. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Changes the whole game plan for another team in preseason Understood. if they know whether or not that I'm going to be snapping. <laughs> My bad. My bad. My bad. Come on. All right. Thanks for the call, Ryan. Take care. All right, buddy. Take Appreciate care. Appreciate it. We'll chat soon. You got it. That's right. Ryan Kalu. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.